Hey everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and today I'm starting off a tutorial series on ScreenFlow 4 made by Telestream. ScreenFlow is a software program that allows you to record the screen of your computer and edit video. If you want to know more specifics about the program or purchase it, you can go to their website right here. If you do want to purchase it, you have two options. You can go to the Mac App Store and purchase it, or purchase it from their website here. Now, I personally recommend purchasing it from the website for two reasons. With the website version, you're going to get updates to the program immediately as soon as they come out. With the App Store version, there's an approval process which causes a delay. And the more important reason, with the website version, you can get lower cost upgrades when the new version comes out. Say ScreenFlow 5 comes out, it's going to cost you less with the website version because the Mac App Store doesn't support lower cost upgrades. So let's get ScreenFlow set up and ready to record. When you open ScreenFlow, you'll get this configure recording window. Now I'm going to ignore that for now. That'll be a topic in the next video. So to get things set up, go up here to ScreenFlow, click on Preferences. The first thing we want to do with Preferences is get that license put in if you have the Web Store version of the program. The Mac App Store, you don't need to put in a license. So you should have received an email from Telestream after you purchased it from the Web Store, and this is where you input that key code, that serial number. Now, if you want to move this license to another computer, that's where this deactivate serial number comes in. You want to deactivate your serial number and then activate it on the other computer. And as far as licensing goes, the Mac App Store version allows you to put ScreenFlow on any computer you own, and the Web Store version of it allows you to put the program on two different computers that you own. So go over here and click on the Advanced tab. So the first thing here on the Advanced tab is Video Magnification. This is for whether it's going to be smooth or sharp when you're doing zoom in and zoom out things in your editing. The screen recording compression, this allows the program to compress the video while it's recording to take up less disk space. And one other very important thing you want to do is install the computer audio driver. This driver allows the program to record the audio that's generated from the computer itself. The other option down at the bottom is the capture scratch disk. This allows you to control where the temporary file is stored when the program is recording the screen captures. The other tab here is Timeline. Now, I'm going to go over all the Timeline stuff in a future video, so I'm going to ignore this tab for now. It'll make a lot more sense when I'm talking about it later. And then the General tab. So the first item in the General tab controls the icon that you see up here in the menu bar. This gives you some ability to pause and start and configure recordings. It's really convenient. I recommend having it there. Then there's the countdown. This is a countdown that happens before the actual recording starts. The third item is whether that icon in the menu bar shows up when you first log on to your computer so that you're ready to record right away. Then there's auto updating. Recommend that to keep your program up to date. And the last thing is recording hotkeys. You can customize to whatever you want for shortcuts for starting the video, pausing the video. All right, that's all there is to getting ScreenFlow set up and ready to record. In my next video, I'm going to go over the different configuration options for making a recording, actually do a recording, and then I'll go over the basic layout of the editing window. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.